All right, so we're going to try a, a new to me tool here. So I've got a, uh, a duplex tools nibbler. It's uh, rated for get that to zoom in. 3.2 millimeters mild steel and two millimeters uh, stainless steel. This one's uh, 60 hertz. It's an N10K, 6.4 amps. And the speed is 600. I'm not sure if that's the RPM or the strokes, but uh, I guess we'll take a look at that and figure it out. So I got some uh, safety tools here. This should be greased, but I don't have a manual for it, so I don't know what kind of grease to put in it. But uh, basically, it's a sewing machine for cutting steel. So I got a piece of uh, metal here. Try to get the camera a bit closer. I'm just gonna do this in one shot here so it makes it easier for uh, data processing. Processing. And that I don't need to do anything, I can just upload it directly. So I'm just gonna put on my hearing protection and my safety glasses. Because I've never used this before. This is a, a first try. So when I measured this piece of steel here, it's 0.127 inches, which uh, can't really, and 3.23 millimeters. So that's pretty much the maximum that this tool is capable of. I figured that if it could fit into the throat, then it's probably the right size. And I think it can. So it's an on off switch, so you just turn it on. We'll see if we can go straight and or turn. prefers to go straight. It takes quite a big chunk out of there. But uh, it can turn a little bit. It's bound in that channel a bit, so uh, that's pretty neat. I think that this is uh, an industrial tool. I don't think it's a uh, consumer kind of tool. So it's probably meant to be on a production line producing a lot of material in a day. I'll just take the camera off and see if we can take a look at the uh, quality of the cut because it has been nibbled. I think that's pretty neat. That opens up some opportunities for cutting uh, big pieces of metal. Don't need to use a plasma gun, plasma cutter, and you don't need to use a torch or a cutting wheel. So. Uh, Take a look at the bites on the floor here as well. So that's pretty uneventful. I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, I, you can't buy this company's product anymore. This was built probably uh, pre-internet. I can't find very much information about it. But there are other companies that sell nibblers. And you can get little ones that you can attach to cordless drills if you want to do sheet metal kind of work. But uh, as you can see, this one goes up to 8th inch on the mild steel. So uh, thank you for watching.